kind of these line up. Man, yeah, this third five sucks. Let's see this one. That's subtraction. Which it would be O. Come on, that's gonna be right. Eleven. No, so E. E should be twenty two. Yeah, that has to be that. Why is that not working? So is it this? There we go. It. That was some impressive detective work. I hate math. Let's have a look at this. Aha! My hunch was right. According to the label, they made an extremely potent herbicide. Judging from this container, it looks like it's meant to be dispersed into a larger system. No sprinklers in here, so dear lord. The facility's water line? That's gonna break open. The bodies out there, but. They must have known this would happen. 
No time to dwell on No one left alive, so I may as well admit it. where we can access the water line. This is what we need to weaken the vines. You can come up with a formula to combat the strangler vines. I've got some industrial strength herbicide. In the storage room, I have fancy dispenser, the formula notes, this lab station, all just a facade. At first I added a tiny bit and it worked. No one got sick, seemed fine. You guys thought I was really smart. So win-win, right? They started resisting the smaller doses, had a had to up it. I thought maybe our drinking water filtration system would fix it. Fupo puking their guts out says otherwise. I refuse to drink it. I'd rather let the thirst take me. Sorry guys, at least I got to feel what it was like to be the smartest guy in the room. But for anyone that finds this, I'll leave some herbicide behind. Use every bit of it and give those vines my best regards. Ouch. Hmm. Okay, so now we're going into the here. Here we go. This looks like it connects to the main water line. Let's talk next steps. I should be able to disperse the herbicide into the water line from here. I'm suspecting that the security system here won't appreciate that. Expect alarms. And the company that alarms tend to attract. Ready for a fight? I'm ready. I'll watch your back. Okay. Fingers crossed and guns at the ready. Let's take a look here. Okay. The chemical has started dispersing into the water systems. Damn, it's detected a foreign substance. I'll prepare for it to get noisy in here. Initiate, I'll need you to keep them off my back. Ad Victorium. Need to reach the drainage system if we're going to affect the vine. Give him hell, initiate. I do not want to pick up a fat man. No thanks. for disposing of unwanted chemicals? Well, one sleazy company's environmental negligence is our gain, I suppose. Those vines should be weak enough to break through now. I, uh, wouldn't drink the water if I were you, though. Yeah, you think? I don't want to puke my guts out, thank you very much. Wait, so... What do I do now?
Interesting. Did you hear that? The hell was that? Doesn't that? sound like a feral ghoul to me. Is that the sheep squatch? Okay, it's getting rid of all that. Important about this spot. Mm, that's where I find out. Hostile robotic entity? That's troubling. Be on the lookout. Luckily, my ricochet stopped it. Sheep, whatever it was, it's dead, and we should be able oh, to frame lift the lockdown. Let's get back to that terminal. I was really not expecting that to be down here. And that's that. Time to head back to Ares. If he has anything to do with all this. Uh, he's probably gone. Uh, okay, I'm already freaking lost. Yeah. 
stuck on that. Oh, we actually still here. Your boss looks like she's about to strangle me with one of those vines. Something happened in there? Aries, between the feral ghouls, the strangler vines, and that insane sheep robot, I've about reached my limit with this place. And your antics. I don't know if this is some kind of trap or elaborate cover-up, but we need to get through that door and get answers. Now! Whoa, whoa, trap? Where's this coming from? Hold on. Did you say sheep robot? Uh, like the Baba kind or the killer robot kind? Ares, the door! Now! Please! Okay, just give me a second. Yeesh. Nearly there now. We're getting closer to the truth. I can feel it. Getting a little hard on Aries. I hope you're right. I'd like to believe he's innocent in all of this, but I can't lose sight of the goal. Finding the missing people like Cassie is a time-sensitive, life-or-death situation. That comes first. All right, let's see here. Login credentials, check. In terms of employment, yeah, yeah. Benefits enrollments expired, sure, sure. And done. Trust me now, I'll even lead the way, so if you change your mind, it'll be easier to shoot me in the back. Thank you for opening the door. But know that if we find anything linking you to this, you're still going to have to answer for it. Add it to the catalog of questionable things I already have to answer for. The rainstorms, all of the trips. It's gotten to be turn, my turn, when the mother of all green glowing death clouds sparks itself over the mirror. We're going to need the camp out until it passes. Already exhausted from babysitting this massive group of the past two weeks sure joe's gonna be thrilled by the transfer fees but she's not the one that's got the real deal delinquents up at uppity merchants and that doctor that keeps joining us at least no one's gonna missing assuming i can get them all to stay close by the camp that is I heard you over there. Cassie's journal, day one. Setting out. Start a new joint journey. Foundation lay out the red carpet for chess. Cassie, because I'm about to turn Appalachia's agriculture on its head, I decided to keep this little journal to chronicle all the amazing things I see along the way. Wish me luck. Day five, miserable walking. That's all we do. We walk. Burn down building. Check forest of smoldering dead trees. Check, oh look, an empty out red rocket gas station what a thrilling current cushion this ended up being oh and on top of it all to 
top it all off, there's this creepy bald guy in our group. I keep catching him staring at me. Eyes to yourself, Dr. Pervert. Day 15, so close but so far. We're finally within spitting distance of Appalachia. My rad storm is raging outside. We've been walking through this old train tunnel all day. And now we can't even step outside until the red storm blows over. Going to find a nice spot to get cozy and nap all the walking. Okay, night. Okay, this is where these guys showed up. All of a sudden, armed to the teeth, they're just been sitting around chatting with that weirdo doctor. Everyone seems a little nervous. Even the guard. Wait. They took his gun away. That was going on. Oh shit. They saw me. If someone finds this, help us. And then we get to get there. Manifest. Duty, visions, details, so it's Dr. E. Blackburn, it's the creepy doctor. Burn again, burn again. Shut up, dog. Seems like you've been pretty thorough. Are you ready to discuss what you found? Yes, here's everything I found. Excellent. I'll take what you've collected. Let me take a look at what you found. I just need a minute to review it all. Pull out your decoder rings, kids. It's detective time. Hmm. I see. That's... Concerning. Wait a moment. This name. I know this name. I think I've seen enough. Initiate. We should discuss our findings. Uh. Where are you going? Well. It seems like Cassie was indeed a part of this caravan group, but I think it'd be a good idea to step through the evidence together. I may have been assuming too much about Blue Ridge's involvement. I'd like to be on the same page, so where would you like to start? Let's discuss why they were camping in the first place. Yes. It would seem this was a routine trip, until the end. Something kept them here, and forced them to set up camp so close to home. The red storm forced them to stay here overnight. We're vulnerable. That's right. The storm forced them to bunk down. They were an extra large group too, with only one guard. Sitting ducks. To talk about how they went missing? Indeed. It looks like we have a clear account of their last moments here. A group of armed strangers showed up. That was my take as well. Based on Cassie's description and the letter you found earlier, we can assume they were these Hellcat mercenaries. The total number of people they've abducted, though, is staggering. Nearly 15 in this trip alone. Names on the manifest? Right. 
and manifest. One name in particular really stood out to me. Did you notice it? Dr. Blackburn? That's right. Dr. Blackburn. Not only was he present on multiple trips, but Cassie makes mention of him speaking with the armed strangers. Likely these Hellcat mercenaries you've dealt with. I imagine Dr. Blackburn was the one employing them. I knew the name sounded familiar. I had read it in Shin's report of your very first assignment with us. Think back, Initiate. Do you recall why Dr. Blackburn had been seeking our assistance? No. She was seeking assistance with experiments to help humanity. That's right. Dr. Blackburn was seeking assistance with his experiments. Something about curing diseases and helping people. I suspected it was too good to be true. And the evidence here certainly doesn't look promising. But could he really be kidnapping people? Looks like we got our answer. Indeed we do. Dr. Blackburn was hiring these Hellcat mercenaries to kidnap people from this route. It would appear they were cautious at first, but took advantage of a rad storm to steal away an entire group. An unfortunate end, but there's still hope of finding them. The only thing left is to report back our findings and determine Blackburn's location. You were an excellent partner in this initiate. This has been a humbling experience. I do believe we make a pretty great team. I see you owning up to your mistakes. I have been wrong about you. Well, part of me wants to encourage you to follow your gut, even if that means disapproving of me. But if I've learned anything from this, it's allowing for the patients to find the objective truth of the matter. Something I, perhaps, have been lacking. It's something that I know I need to improve upon, not just as leader of the Brotherhood, but as a person. And hopefully, to begin earning back your trust. Anyway... We should get back to Atlas and report what we found. If we can determine where Blackburn took this group, we may be able to track down Cassie and perhaps countless others. I'll meet you there. Good work, Initiate. Aries, I owe you an apology. My rash behavior was unfitting of my position and frankly, unfair to you. Ah, water under the bridge. All of my best friendships start with misplaced suspicion of mass kidnapping. I will take your word for it. I am sorry either way. If you really want to make it up to me, I've heard you guys have some killer rocket launchers to spare. Absolutely not. Hmm. <laughs> 